On July 23rd, Washington State joined Florida and North Carolina in outlawing the purchase, sale, or possession of a pill press if it's intended to make counterfeit pills. Washington's law is sponsored by representatives Mari Levitt and Dan Griffey. It's named after Tyler Lee Yates, who died in a casino parking lot after unknowingly taking a fake Percocet in January of 2022. There is no easy solution to the counterfeit pill crisis, but stronger regulations of pill presses is a timely idea because they make it possible for drug traffickers to make high volumes of fake pills. And because they're not experts, they're often deadly pills. As of July 2023, U.S. authorities had found pill presses used to make illicit products in 38 different states. There have been 26 seizures of the machines just since January of this year. And Washington state has had its share of criminals using pill presses to make deadly fake pills like this one. PSM has been tracking this issue since 2017. If you'd like to see where pill presses have been seized in your area, how they work, or learn about proposals that we have to address the problem of pill presses, visit our website at this URL.